Happy Wednesday, Paul Hadley Middle School. It is Wednesday, May 6th, 2020, and this is your daily video announcement. Hey, yesterday was Cinco de Mayo. I hope that you ate some tortillas or some tacos or some other Mexican food that made you really uh, celebrate Cinco de Mayo. Most people don't know what Cinco de Mayo is about, and off the top of my head, I couldn't tell you either. Okay, so what are you doing today? You only have six more days of e-learning counting today. I think that's remarkable. So we're almost to summer break. Hey, that's fantastic, right? So the first thing that you need to do today is your attendance quiz, just like always. I want you to go back though and check your attendance over the past week because there have been a few more absences than normal over the past week and I want you to check to make sure that that's not you. I don't want you to get marked absent if you've done your work. So double check and if you see something wrong, let me know in Canvas and I'll get that situation fixed, hopefully. The next thing you need to do is you need to read the myth about Prometheus and then the myth about Pandora's box. Now these two stories are in one document that you're gonna read all today. So you're gonna read two stories today, but it's all in the same PDF file that you're gonna open up. These are two different myths. Both of them have a lesson that is trying to teach you something about life. But these are two separate myths. They don't normally get paired together, but in this particular article, they are paired together. Just know that for future reference, if somebody talks about Prometheus, they're not also talking about Pandora's box. The next thing that you need to do is to do the assignment, which is the list of questions that you need to answer and submit those to Canvas when you are done. And once you're done doing all of that, then you can move on to another class and you can have a fantastic Wednesday. Now, what do you need to know in order to really appreciate the stories that you're reading today? Well, you need to know something about Greek mythology. Greek mythology was basically the folklore of ancient Greek and Roman civilizations. Now, I say and Roman because when Rome started to take over the world, they conquered Greece, and instead of deleting all of the different myths that the Greeks had come up with, they in turn uh, took them as their own, changed all the names to Latin and basically kept all the stories the same. There are minor differences here and there, and there are additions that the Roman culture has added to the mythology, but for the most part, Greek mythology and Roman mythology are the exact same thing, just with different names. You should know what the whole point of myths are. Myths, uh, just like any story that's passed down from generation to generation, do have a point. And I have boiled your the point to a myth down to four different reasons. Reason number one, they explain the way the world is, like the natural world or the cultural world in which people find themselves. So there's an explanation that goes along for the natural world or cultural. Um, they can explain things like storms and volcanoes, different cultural ceremonies, uh, traditions, seasons, origin of plants, animals, or food, but ultimately it's an explanation of all of these things for the people in their culture. The second one would be an explanation of rituals. Um, sometimes there were different cultures throughout history that did sacrificing, whether they sacrificed animals or in some cultures like the Incan Empire, they would sacrifice humans, uh, right? And so they would come up with a mythology that helped explain why they did these things like that. The third thing would be the explanation of the universe. Now that is a really big kind of topic. Uh, a lot of times it's the explanation of the creation of the universe. Uh, a lot of times those creation myths have some sort of God or gods battling or something, and then they create what we know to be the universe and the world. And then the last thing would be an explanation of why kings are kings. Why does a certain family get to be in power? Why does this person get to sit on this throne? Well, a lot of times myths have been created in order to explain just that. There is some sort of divine right to rule. And that is something that comes up in a lot of different cultures around the world. Uh, there is a divine right in uh, ancient British lineage the ancient British ruling class. They claimed to have been given that right by God. And so that's why they're kings of England. Um, but that's not just for England. That's for many, many, many different cultures throughout the entire world. 
Some of those countries would include Imperial China, the Pharaohs in Egypt, the Hittites, Polynesians, the Incas, the families in India, all of those cultures claim to have some sort of power that was divinely given. So given to them by some sort of higher power or God. All right. I think that's all you need to know about mythology before you start reading the two myths, Prometheus and Pandora's box. Uh, so go ahead and read that, do your tenants quiz, answer your questions, and then I will see you all tomorrow.